Today, I'm going to tell you guys one of the problems with the Second Amendment. Now, a lot of people in terms of the Second Amendment as it pertains to the United States and the U.S. Constitution, for my non-American audience, is, is very simple. It's the right to keep and bear arms. However, they forget the first part. The entire Second Amendment goes as follows. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Now, why was this so important to the Founding Fathers, and why was this an important addition to the Constitution? Well... Let's bear in mind that in 1789, when our Constitution was being written, um, and in the years 1791 through 1798, um, when the Bill of Rights was passed, there was no police. There was no National Guard. There was no standing military. In fact, the Founding Fathers were very much against having a standing military, and we didn't have a standing military until after World War I, and not really until after World War II. And so the whole law enforcement mechanism of the late 18th century and through much of American history until the advent of policing in the 19th century was basically the local men of the town. It was up to them to enforce the laws and to provide for the common defense. Now, that was one of the things that the founders expected a militia to do. For a nation without a standing military, a state militia, basically a group of men recruited by the state's to defend the country would be in place. We saw this during the Civil War, where Lincoln um, would comprise the Union Army of various regiments and volunteers from different parts of the states. We also saw it during the Mexican-American War, which is why the Tennessee, Tennessee got the reputation of being called the Volunteers fun American history fact stuff there. Um, this, is how, this is how it went. So for the founders, this was a functional imperative. That's not the same way we live now. We have police, we have a National Guard, we have a military. The imperative that we need to keep and bear arms the same way that we used to just simply isn't there. We don't need the men of the town to get together like it's the Old West, and go, you know, form a posse to fight the criminal. We have people for that now. We have dedicated professionals, although very problematic professionals, as we saw the other day in Memphis, but we have them, for better or for worse. And this idea that the only thing that's going to hold America together is people's right and ability to own guns in ever-increasing amounts and ever-deadly amounts is simply silly. It's an 18th century idea that has very little relevance in 2023. So let's get guns out of society, let's reform the police department, and go from there. And that's the Second Amendment for you.